I care for the animals at the zoo is a really important part of our job and something that we consider with every examination. Sea lions in particular are a little bit special and predisposed to some eye health issues, so we keep an even closer eye on them than we do with some of the other animals. Chitsai is one of our adult male sea lions, and he's had cataracts for a couple years that we've been monitoring. Over the last six months, they've really matured or become larger, and they were now impacting his vision. So we went ahead and got him scheduled for a full anesthetic event to have those cataracts removed, with the hope that it would really improve his vision afterwards. Ayla is our oldest sea lion, she's one of our females, and she had an ulcer on her eye that just wasn't healing as well as we would have liked it to. So we went ahead for her and did a procedure called a burr keratotomy, where we just took a little bit of that corneal layer off to allow better healing. Cataract removal in a sea lion is no small feat, and it takes a team of a lot of different types of experts to really try and get this done successfully. We're really lucky here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium that we get to work with some of amazing experts that maybe don't specialize just in zoo medicine, but specialize in other aspects of veterinary care. One of the most important of those is our ophthalmology team. So we work with MedVet pretty routinely to help maintain ocular health of the animals here at the zoo. But for Chitsai in specifically, we really needed those experts to be able to remove his cataracts. So we were able to have ophthalmologists from our local MedVet clinic, as well as a MedVet clinic down in Florida, come help us with that surgery. Additionally, it's a big procedure. It takes almost five hours sometimes if it's uncomplicated. So we called in the expertise of some boarded veterinary anesthesiologists as well to help us make sure that we were keeping chit size safe and healthy throughout the entire procedure. What goes into removing a cataract in a pinniped, meaning a sea lion or a seal, is a pretty big endeavor, not just because the surgery itself is a little bit longer than it would be in a cat, dog, or human, but the anesthetic event itself, it takes a village, we always say, to anesthetize a sea lion or seal for a cataract surgery. And then in taking out their cataracts, there's a machine that we use in dogs, cats, and humans, but because their lenses are the size of a pearl onion and as hard as a marble, the machine isn't strong enough. So we actually have to take the whole entire lens out and we are unable to put an implant in like we would in the rest of the species that we do. But in fact, their corneas have a specialized flattened area where they're able to focus on land and in shallow water. So they don't really need a lens once it's removed to be able to focus and function after surgery. So as one of the doctors at MedVet in Columbus, it's just wonderful to partner with the Columbus Zoo and all the veterinarians over the years to provide the best care for all the animals here. Recently, I was able to work with one of my mentors, Carmen Kolitz, who's one of the world experts in marine animal health uh, for ophthalmology and providing some expert surgery for the sea lions here. Um, and we know that they will continue to do very well moving forward under her guidance. Ayla's procedure was not quite as in-depth and complicated as chit size, but still requires the same amount of care and attention. Anytime we anesthetize an animal, we want to make sure we're doing it as safely as possible for both the humans as well as the animal themselves. So our anesthesiologists were already here. We figured we might as well utilize their expertise for Ayla as well. Her procedure was a little bit shorter, so we used a slightly different drug combination, and we didn't need to do as many intensive things as we did with chit size. So thankfully, within about an hour, she was done with her anesthesia and waking up. Eye disease in pinnipeds is just part of the reality of what we deal with as veterinarians caring for these animals, but we're really fortunate because we're able to provide an exceptional level of care for a couple of reasons. The first is the intense amount of work and dedication that our trainers put into building relationships with these animals, building trust, and allowing us to do certain behaviors and exams that allow us to catch problems early and monitor appropriately. So by training an animal to take eye drops, to let us look at their eye, to help participate in anesthetic procedures, all of those are vital to providing optimal ocular health. The other really important part is that it takes a village. So we here at the zoo, help and care for these animals on a day-to-day -day basis, but being able to rely and count on other experts in the field of ophthalmology and anesthesia allow us to provide the safest, best level of care that we possibly can to get a great outcome for these animals while they live here with us.